Washington versus Green Bay in Washington. Washington football team. I'll never not make fun of that. All that time they couldn't come up with a single thing. This one's gonna be difficult because I just saw the overall differences. Oh, this one's gonna be difficult. Like our Titans Ravens game, difficult. Washington football team, it's so annoying. Why couldn't they come up with anything? They couldn't come up with anything. Today, from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. This is Madden NFL 21. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and able to get this out to the 25. And the Washington football team. Out comes Washington here offensively. And their man under center, Dwayne Haskins, the number 15 pick out of Ohio State in 2019. And for Dwayne Haskins, a little bit of an uneven season for the former first-round pick. Seven starts as a rookie. Team went 2-5 in those go, games. Go, 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 go. I did see him get better. I thought his last couple of starts were his best ones of the year. He's a guy with big potential, big arm. But remember, it was just a one-year starter in college as well. Plenty of experience yet to be gained. <laughs> and this winds okay. up a gain of four to the 41. Ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back and they'll feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you nice. have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn Let's into go. a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams nice. like to go strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for them on the outside as well. The bar is looking pretty good on offense. So let's see how we're going to see more of that. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. And he's got it. Seven yards there and a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Okay. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Second down and 12 at the 19-yard line. At the Packers' 19-yard line. Now they'll look to ask to throw it. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big nice. Is Let's go. For a Washington touchdown. From 19 yards away. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start. Get out after them. And maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you can get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and it gives you a little air. Aaron Rodgers and the pack. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. This will be stopped about two yards short of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. That's Aaron first down, Jones, the ball carrier. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks. Are we going to? Okay. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. 
For a big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. And in Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. On second down, it's Jones. Nice. And a couple of yards as they move it Jones from the 21 to the 19. Down. Come on. Kevin Pierre Lewis on the tackle. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. It's third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. No, Beach don't let him. That's a, he threw that's that after, yeah. But there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Thank you. So he was past a lot of scrimmage when he yeah, threw it. Right. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. And the 13-year man puts it through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Right, so yes, it's only three, but at least you're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially open the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. At their own 27 yards. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 27. And he'll give it here to nice. his running back. He'll have a first down past Damn. the 40. As he'll get this one up to the 44 yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Going to give this time to the nice. tailback. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. One yard Defensively, game. a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Bingo. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 21. 22 yards there, a first down. One yard line. They will run it. It's McKissick. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Bring two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. Okay, He's in then. Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. It was Darnell Savage that time who was able to knock it away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Are you here? Yeah. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that right. to the ground. I am. And fourth down now coming up. I hate life. Once you get into the red zone, spaces at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake Both themselves free. Right. That one's incomplete. And or I could have just ran the ball. And they pushed the lead up to a touchdown. Coach didn't think that was a good idea. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people think that as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't yeah. get the touchdown. Thanks. But that's actually Ron okay. Rivera. They got three I'm points. Sure they will give the defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Next offensive series coming up here for the 2-0 Packers who are coming off a pretty thorough 42-21 victory over Detroit. Aaron Rodgers had the big game week one, followed it up with two more touchdown Aaron passes. Rogers. And Aaron Jones, how about him? A league high, 168 yeah, yards on the ground on Sunday. 68 more in the passing game. Three total touchdowns. Not too bad, Mr. Davis. Not too bad at all. Remember, the Packers drafted A.J. Dillon, a big running back out of Boston College. 
Again. Rogers, and he's gonna go down again. Oh my, oh my, they've had some success bringing him off the edge. How about the gambling man who's the defensive coordinator? Perfect. He's not just bringing pressure, he's bringing a corner to go after the quarterback. And it's worked twice now, twice like a charm. And not only does that work like a charm, he's been awfully disruptive in his usual role covering receivers. Now he's rushing the passer as well. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Oh, well, Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As the stoppage will come the ball again, I'm going to get a to go to double in this league. first half. Two possession game. And the punt team on now as this one set away. Okay, he literally missed that block. And call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. On first down, it's Haskins. And that's going well, to be too high out of bounds. I thought he could have done that play. Steven Sims, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So let's go back to the start of the season talk, Charles. We talked about some 2-0 and 0-2 and and teams. You mentioned Arizona, maybe a good surprise. Houston, a bad surprise. Any other teams a surprise at this point to you? Well, I think that I would look at the Los Angeles Rams right out of the gate at home against Dallas, opening their new stadium. Many thought Dallas would go out west and beat them. That didn't happen. Then how about the Rams going on the road this week and beating Philadelphia and decisively. This looks like a Rams team that finished nine and seven last year. It has designs on challenging for the division title. And one other team I would throw in there is a little bit of a surprise. Perfect. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23 yard line. Now Washington gonna go ahead and use their final timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Bingo. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. What? And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Again, it's Haskins. And he's going Why to go down. couldn't they just say so kick a field goal? Field goal attempt to go for six, but as a result, they lead If I lose because of that, I'm gonna be mad. That's gonna do it for this first half. Dustin Hunter. Should have just said put the field goal. First, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. So fucking bullshit, dude. That one's actually got me mad. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half. And yeah, a lot of other stuff like the Cuban stuff. And, and then we'll take it from Mark there. Jackson See how that that works. Works. That's just he was held without a catch in the first The fact half, that it didn't say pull up a field goal with that much time down. left bothers me. Now a first down carry by Jones. And has him genuinely mad. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept That's the boy. There we go. The football. And it's That'll make up for that, I guess. I don't know why he couldn't just stand straight up and run. He was oh, under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hand. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. From the 30 on second down, Haskins. Nice. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. 
And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll try and run for it on first Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he's going to pull his way it. down to about the one-yard line. Give him nine yards on the carry there. A good run. And now second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Okay, then. So we got free of one All right. tackle. Now I'm going to get seriously mad. Going to gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. They'd really like there. to make the shot. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Get punching it in from a yard away. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit. Now it's cool. really going. And now we find out about the 42. Yes, I can be less mad about behind. the terrible play because for this. they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. Right. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it down to punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And able to find out the Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. Green Bay. Throwing on first down is yeah. Rodgers. Why did I do that? Lewis has it, the tight end. Um, the end. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Mm -hmm. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Marching, I don't like it. All right, end of third. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and ten. Here's Rodgers. Should have been picked. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete for Alan Lazard. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Second and ten. Throwing again. Rodgers. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. All right, third down. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Open man is and Taylor. He's got, he's got it. Five and he gets the first the down here as he's taken down at the 24. Yards. First, first down, target, first catch at a first down. On a sack, Aaron Rodgers Clock again. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first right. and ten. Why is that not running? Rodgers on target there to Lazard. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Again to Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Shotgun now and for Rodgers. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Rodgers finding Valdez Scantling. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. Takes over first and ten. The look at Washington is All right, now we just got to eat up and the now clock. after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. 
Plenty of time on the clock. You'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. First and ten, Fourth quarter, nine, down to the final nine, two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So nine, it's Washington with the keep, football here running. as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Barber on first and ten. First down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left second as they call the timeout the defensively. Get us another yard down. would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Ooh. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Okay, now the nice. Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. They got no timeout. As they'll so talk things over prior to this upcoming game. second oh. down play. So they come up on second down oh, and they can get just another run like we that. just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. I know we're the air of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But it's still down a spot to for power football. Minute. We just saw some of it right there. How about that rush? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. All right, come on. This will take us with like 20 seconds to go. If we don't get it, then we can just run it out. But if we get it, that'll be it. Try to run this one in. And he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And Washington going to add on to their lead. And the lead is up to 14. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So now Rodgers in the pack. Down by two touchdowns. A little over 20 seconds to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do this it should, twice here late to have be. a chance. But he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. Now they work this well up field across the 45. One final try now for Rodgers. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And I think you'd have to label this an upset. Yes, they were at home, but still an upset. They got the job done. Yeah, even being at home.